Hey there, YouTubers. I was asked by a viewer um, how to go about removing an administrative password that you have forgotten, or maybe you didn't put one there and somehow one managed to make its way there mysteriously. Well, either way, if you want to remove any password from any user, this is the best way to go about doing it. It's called the Ultimate Boot CD. I have uploaded my own personal version of it, and all you have to do is click this download link. Once you do that, this will pop up you click download anyways and then once you have the ultimate boot iso this is an iso image you can either burn it to a dvd and boot from a dvd and, and do the same exact thing or if you prefer to use a um a, a usb device um it should be eight gigs or more in size um preferably for preferably around 8 to 16 gigabytes but anyways you're going to go to yummy you're going to copy and paste the url into um, a browser of your choice and you're going to click download you're going to click save and then once you're done with that you're going to go to where you saved yummy and you're going to double click on it you're going to click yes and you're going to click i agree then you're going to click on this and you're going to pick the the boot device you want now if you have anything on the the usb device that that you're looking for you can go here to see to just make sure that you're picking your multi your 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 usb device then you're going to go here you're going to click view or remove the uh the product and then you're going to click ultimate boot cd but i would suggest to make it easier for yourself just go here right click on the ultimate boot click format and click make sure you put fat 32 click start click ok and then it should only take a, a matter of seconds to uh to finish and then you click OK and then just in case you guys didn't catch that in order to change the FAT32 you have to click this arrow and click FAT32 when you're all done formatting close it close this then you can uh, reopen yummy here click yes I probably should have done that in the first place to make it easier on you then you click your, your boot device now you don't have to click anything over here you're just gonna go over here you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to click try unlisted ISO grub. You're going to click that. Then you're going to browse for the ultimate boot CD ISO that you downloaded. Click that, click open, and then click create. Once this pops up, just say yes, and then you just wait for it to get done. Once this is done copying all the files, you're going to be able to take and um, you're going to be able to put this into your your USB device, your your USB, and then you can shut the computer down and, and restart it. And if your computer set up to boot right from uh, USB or CD-ROM, DVD, it should just boot automatically. You could possibly just tap the F9 key while you're booting, and you will get a boot menu option asking what boot device and you can pick the usb um, anybody has any questions just leave a comment below and i'll do my best to answer the questions but for the most part uh, many computers are just set so that they boot from the uh from usb but you may have to change it Now, once you're done with this process, um, you can, if you want, you can also scooch over to the second part of this video where I'm going to show you how to use this particular um, uh, image that you're creating to actually go ahead and remove the, um, the password from any user that you choose. Um, once you get to this point, you click Next and click No. And then finish and that's it okay for those of you interested in knowing how to use this program the ultimate boot cd um 
uh, scooch on over to the other video when when uh, you get a chance. And thanks for watching.